In today's video, I want to expand on an idea that I had when I took a look at the Awesome Window Manager. Because there's a feature in Awesome that when pressing a certain key combination or clicking a menu entry, it'll give you a pop-up window of all the key bindings on the system, even the user-defined ones. And I really, really like this feature, and I thought it would be cool to make the same feature using a script in my Spectre WM config. So I started playing around with grep and sed and awk and gave it the option to have some colorful text in the headers because why not? But the main goal of this video is not necessarily to show off the script, even though it is pretty cool. It's really just to take you through my thought process of making this and maybe give you an idea for a fun project to implement something useful in your system. So if you have some ideas for me to improve this script, by all means, let me know. But before we get started, I feel like I have to warn you. If you're going to go through my thought process, you're just going to have to ignore the circus music. This is a virtual machine I made a while back with my Spectre WM config in Dev1 Chimera. But it can be any distro, so don't worry about that. So when I opened the config and started looking around, I noticed there were some consistent things happening that where I could use grip and just bring out the key bindings. But I wanted to sort them by alt key and mod key because there are certain things that, are, that use the alt key and certain things that use the super key. But I didn't want to have them all mixed in, so I kind of mostly did the same thing twice. Because once we get down here, you see you know, mod return will give me the terminal. Mod one return will give me URXVT. Mod P will give me the menu. Mod W will give me Firefox. Mod one W will give me Brave. Actually, I need to change that. Mod F will give me PC main FM. Mod one B, or alt B will perform the wall script. And here, your XVT E bindings.sh is set to mod S, just like mod S in the Awesome Window Manager. Because I've already implemented this in here, but I'm going to kind of walk you through my thought process. So if I quit out of this, and let's say I wanted to clear the screen and grip mod one home.spectrewm.conf. You see, I get bind your XVT equals mod one plus return, brave equals mod one plus W, and wall equals mod one plus B. So I only have like three things set with the alt key, but this is not really set up the way I want it. So I can pull up the same command, and let's pipe that through awk. And I want to print the key combination first. So that would be print dollar three. And let's say I wanted to have a, a, a series of dashes in between. So I'm going to put that in quotation marks, space, dash, 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 space, close the quotation marks, and then let's do dollar one for the binding. So that's going to give me mod 1 plus return, bind your XVT. Mod 1 plus W, bind brave. Mod 1 plus B, bind wall. So now that I have it in a, in a more usable format, I want to get rid of bind, and I want to get rid of these brackets surrounding the application names. So I'm going to pull up the same command, and I'm just going to pipe, pipe it through said, and we're going to substitute bind with nothing. You see, we got rid of bind. So now let's get rid of the brackets. Pipe that through said. And let's substitute the brackets with nothing. So this is looking better already. Let's do the same thing with the super keys. It's probably best that we just grip bind and then grip out all of the mod ones. So let's do grep, and then at the beginning of the line, anything that says bind, home slash dot specterwm.conf. 
and that brings up a bunch of stuff. Clear the screen. And pull up the same command. And then let's pipe that through grip. Mod plus, because it's always mod plus something. And that will actually get rid of all the mod ones. And let's set it up in the same format that we set up for the alt keys. So let's pipe that through alt. Let's print dollar three with a series of dashes and then dollar one. You can see all of that worked pretty well. Let's clear the screen again, pull up the same command, and now let's pipe that through said and get rid of bind. Substitute bind with nothing globally and pipe through said again and substitute the brackets with nothing and that's about right but it's still all in one column so to fix that let's do the same thing and pipe it through column that's looking a lot better so to get everything together, what I wound up doing was actually catting all of this into a file and then calling the file up. So I think now would be a good time to show you the entire script that I wrote. So let's clear the screen and let's cd into user local bin and then let's sudo vim bindings.sh. And this is the entire script. So I call bin slash bash. Now, just, be, just note, there are some bashisms in this script, and it works really well in bash and in fish. But I have not tested this with ZSH, but I, I would assume that it works pretty well. But if you want to be able to run this properly when calling, you know, slash bin slash sh, there's probably still going to need to be some work done on your end if you wanted to get that working. So here I just declare bold and normal. I declare all of my ANSI escape codes for red, green, blue, purple, yellow, and normal color. And I use printf to print red and bold alt key bindings into, with one chevron, bindings.txt. That way it will be the only thing in that, in, in that file. The next one, we actually use the same command that we used earlier for the alt key bindings into bindings.txt. Then we use printf again in much the same way we, we did up here with super key bindings into bindings.txt. And then we ran the same command that we did earlier to get all of those like through column into bindings.txt, then catted bindings.txt, and then read. Because if you don't have this at the end of it, when you call up a terminal, an external terminal, it's going to immediately close. It took me a little while to figure all that out. So if you want to see the script run, you can run bindings.sh. And that's what it looks like. But to see it implemented, let's just hit mod s. And you see it pops up a URXVT window in floating mode because I, I forgot to show you that in the spectrewm.conf file. So let's vim.spectrewm.conf and let's make the text a little larger so everybody can see. And then let's go down to the bottom, or not to the bottom, but to the quirks section. So I set a quirk for URXVT always float and then when I wanted to bind mod s I used I called urxvt dash e and then ran bindings.sh and that's literally all I did and it wound up working really well in my opinion so I have some red text here where it calls the alt key bindings red text here where it or super key bindings headers, and it shows all of the key bindings on the system. 
I thought that was really, really cool. Now, if you wanted to do much the same thing in another, in another window manager, of course, you know, you can use grep and set an awk to do much the same thing that I did here, but you're going to be grepping for different things. Or, you know, let's say if you wanted to do this in DWM, you can grep for XK underscore, and that'll pull up a lot of stuff for you. You know, mainly for all of your key bindings and stuff. There's going to be a lot more stuff that you're going to have to get rid of and format and all that to get this looking right in DWM. Because, you know, it's in C, it's not in plain text. So that's about all I've got for today. I just kind of wanted to take you through my thought process of how I came up with that. And if you want to take a look at the script, of course, it's all, you know, as always, links are going to be to my GitHub page and it's going to be in my dot files repo. And I think I'm going to name it SpectreWMKeyBindings.sh or something like that. Yeah, you know, because I'm so, so creative. But, but like I said, that's about all I've got for today. Uh, thank you all for watching. Y'all have a nice evening. Like, share, and subscribe.